Do you have a face for a dark room? Do people tell you you're ugly? Have you ever looked in the mirror and it cracked? Have you ever been to the zoo and people throw peanuts and food at you? Well, let me tell you what. Why don't you check out Mark's Wrestling Masks on Facebook. That's M-A-R-C apostrophe S. Mark's Wrestling Masks on Facebook. Because that's who keeps our ugly mugs covered too. Welcome to The Shiz Show with your hosts, Vader from Wish and NWO Machine. And NWO Cap. It's all about the game, and how you play it. It's all about control, and if you can take it, it's all about your death, and if you can take it. It's time uh, to play the game. Uh, I always think of The Rock yeah. doing the impression of Triple H. And in this very ring, uh, I'm going to say absolutely nothing. Uh, I forgot that spot. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I I miss The Rock. I do miss The Rock's silliness, for sure. Which, to me, is missing in today's world. Oh, for sure. Bit, uh, they little, try, but they can't. They just can't duplicate. Like, it seems like NXT tries, but it's just brutal. It doesn't come across. No, it just, I get it. They're trying to practice for when they get called up. Yeah, but, uh, it's too much. It's, it's, it's just not working. So welcome, Ooh, yes, to the Shiz Show. We're uh, we're a dash late yeah. in releasing things, but hey, we had Father's Day. We had, yeah, it was busy. So happy Father's Day. Uh, well, happy uh, retro Father's exactly. Day uh, yeah. to all the dads out there. And I checked the mailbox and still no cards. Good. So I was safe. Yeah. yeah. And I, I was trying to start a movement. It's our day. So leave the seat up on Father's Day. Yeah. Leave the seat up. Yeah. Day. Just pee everywhere. But to yeah, know, absolutely. No, you know, I, that, that didn't go over. <laughs> I have to say one thing that bothers me. That went me. over like Adam Cole body slamming Andre the Giant. Yeah. That so, wouldn't happen. Yeah. 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 Just crush that right away. Yeah. Yeah. So what you're saying is Lady Vader crushed it. No, the seats are down. They were, they didn't. They, they glued them right down. It's, yeah. it's <laughs> awful. I, I, the only thing I get angry at is that, uh, again, I'm, I'm always for everybody having their own specific little day, mm-hmm. but I didn't like the fact that there was a lot of people saying out there, oh, and uh, and happy Mother's Day, like or Father's Day to all the mothers out there who have to do all the well, work, Well, they, they, they got to hijack the day, so. And I thought that was wrong because yeah. on Mother's Day, yeah. there's a lot of single dads that do a lot of stuff. Oh, for sure. So. Yeah. Dads, and we gotta, it's just a day of kissing ass on Mother's Day. So. Yeah, so give the dads their day. Don't At least bring... I didn't have to cook this Father's Day. Usually, oh, it's Father's Day, and then I'm smoking something all day. But well, you said maybe you were just relaxing, smoking something different this no, time. No, I don't do that. So you know, you don't four twenty it. I do not. No, you and I both. We're Never, not, we're almost I, one and the same. As a matter of fact, I, I tried it a couple times, and I was already already drunk, and <laughs> I just uh, no. How did this show go to the draw? This, you you did it. You swear. You're drinking it. right now on the job. Well, I bought 90 of these. I got to get rid of these things. <laughs> I got, I'm running out of room in my extra fridge. Uh, I got yelled at. Anybody wondering, like you see our photos online, and we apologize. <laughs> um, but if you're wondering, uh, Vader's got a Coors Light. Now, if you uh, really. Uh, uh, Coors Banquet. Oh, I don't Coors, Coors Banquet Coors or whatever. Or Coors same, Original. Same thing. In, ca- in Canada, it's Coors Original. Yeah, in the States, uh, it's Coors Banquet. It's a PIAC no matter what. It's a piss in a can. No way. So, it's good stuff. Listen, but I know you, you like want... Bud Light, but it's a whole other <laughs> thing. So. No, no, no. I, I liked I liked my little pony cartoons, mm-hmm. but that's as far as I go for rainbows. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you're wondering, just for size wise, um, I joke around how big Vader is and when he used to chop me during our positivity videos, why it hurts so much. I want you, everybody out there, go online right now. I'm going to give you a couple seconds, and I want you to look up Andre the Giant beer can. And the the cores in Vader's hand looks exactly <laughs> like Andre's beer can when he had it in his paw. And you wonder why I would fall when I'd get chopped I, by I, Vader. I, I legit, I wear a size 16 ring. So. Holy crow. Yeah. And and that's not on your fingers. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't get to sixteen if I pulled mine twice, <laughs> three times even. Oh boy, <laughs> nailed into a board and ran backwards. It couldn't happen. Oh, this show is finished yeah, now. You just ruined it. Uh, this show is over. Is it still recording? Maybe make sure we're not having uh, another technical glitch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer on this one. So, mm-hmm. listen. First of all, I want to talk AEW. Why? Because two things. Yeah. Adam Cole came back. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. He is 
a midget. Hmm. And then we saw the uh, Mrs. Ed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wrestling. If which, you want to call it in quotations of wrestling. Yeah, ref Aubrey wrestling. Seriously. It was brutal. It's terrible. And then this was my favorite one. The clip of Orange Cassidy, who I can't stand. I used to with. like him at first. Yeah, I yeah. can't stand him now. Oh. He's in the ring with Billy Gunn. Oh. And he kicks. He does the slow kick. Yeah. But it it literally looked like, like when I was watching <laughs> Billy Gunn and Orange Cassidy in the ring together, it was, for lack of a better term, it was Hulk Hogan staring up at Andre the Giant. Yeah. Like, that's sure. how big Billy Gunn is. He's huge. And he wasn't. When we look at him in WWE, he wasn't big. You know what I mean? Like he, we, we didn't, didn't realize well how big, how big he was. everybody else was too. But well, he's so, just to put in the perspective. There's a bodybuilder, Michael Hearn. Yeah, and there's he's there's a whole bunch of videos on uh, on social media where they add like the, some slow music yeah. behind him, and he walks in slow. And uh, well, there's one of him and Billy Gunn together coming <laughs> oh, out of yeah. a pool, and oh, yeah. Billy Gunn's just as big as him. Yeah, he's yeah. he's not a small man. He's, he is a specimen. That guy. Yeah, and like For at his almost age, sixty. I was just gonna say. And he's still doing the the oh, what's his finisher there the scissor kick or whatever the, like the fame asser yeah, yeah. The, so but when you look at him and then another clip after that so Orange Cassidy looked like a dwarf yeah and then MJF who I think's done fantastic with his body has done mm-hmm. really wonders yeah. like with him uh, yeah he looks physique he looked like a shrimp before he, but he he's, did he's come along good so. and then he sort of played the heel and then he's backing up and runs into Gun but again MJF looks kind of big. And then he got next to gun again. Oh, for sure. So I've always said, if you want to know, like the guys who come back from a, from WWE to AEW, mm-hmm. how big guys are in WWE compared to AEW? Look at the guys who've come over. Oh, for sure. Like yeah. Miro. Gun, yeah, Miro. Well, I remember you. Huge. You're even talking about Claudio. Yeah. Like, like and how he looked. Like you thought he was like. I, I always thought he looked huge, but yeah. I mean, he's just the way he's proportioned. Sure. He looks a lot bigger, but in AEW. He looks like a monster. He's monstrous. Yeah. And and you know, as much as again, he's a he's a big little man, Daniel Bryan looks like a like a roid monkey yeah, compared sure. to the guys in AEW. And Daniel Bryan is tiny. Mm-hmm. So it just shows you that even though these guys may not look like physically statured in WWE, when they come over to AEW, they show how small AEW really is. Mm-hmm. And again, I just don't think <laughs> the reason I'm not a big <laughs> fan of AEW, first of all, they're ballerinas. Yeah. It's gymnasts. It's Cirque du Soleil, and I just don't believe that in a bar fight kind of situation. What do you mean, 30 super kicks? You're not going to go in uh, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of 30 super kicks, I'm, I'm a fan of the Usos all of a sudden. Oh, boy. Yeah. Wasn't that fun? It, it was a good spot. That was a great spot. I hated that whole thing up until that point. So. Yeah, and uh, I, as much as I'm not an Uso fan, uh, Jay Uso played it, He played it perfect right for to sure. the end. I really, really thought... Uh, even for me, even though I kind of knew in my head he's probably going to super kick or, or something, turn on Roman. For a split second, I'm like, he's playing this too good. So maybe he is going to stay bloodline. I was kind of thinking that. So. And then that happens. So <laughs> Then the big swerve. <laughs> the big swerve. And, and uh, it, I, hey, how do you think this is going to end? I don't know. Like, what do you think bloodline is going to do? Like, I think do you, eventually Solo is going to come over and they're going to completely abandon. Yeah. Roman, and then uh, I just wonder who's going to go over on Roman. Well, so here's my question. Do you think that Roman, being Roman, because he needs everybody, mm-hmm. do you think somehow we're going to get swerved and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn go back to Roman Reigns? I don't think so. No? no. Wouldn't that be kind of interesting would, yeah. if they did? Because now we have Usos who have all of a sudden become fan favorites. Right. Right. Like we the ones there's like I said to you, we're watching, I go, Well, there goes shirt sales again. Oh, for sure. Right? Just the skyrocket. So I wouldn't that be an interesting twist if you had Kevin Owens, like he's got the belts again mm-hmm. in his in his I, I think they're gonna have to do something with those belts up because they, they made that extra yeah you know, the raw title. So maybe they're gonna do that with the tag belts too. So to be honest, I I think they should just have one. One heavyweight champ, yeah. one tag team champ. Like the old days. They, yeah, like the old days. That. They go back and forth. So. And I don't think that as much. I understand now Roman has three belts, but he shouldn't because Rhea Ripley didn't keep hers. No. She only comes out with one, right? So, Asuka, what, yeah, and Asuka yeah. had to relinquish her belt. So, why is yeah. Roman Reigns got the three? Well, I think they're saying he, he got that third one for being uh, over a thousand. Yeah. Days. Yeah. So, but still, it's like, more of a participation ribbon. <laughs> 
Is if you don't win that one, you get Would he be the millennial? Would he be that I don't know. category? He's something. I don't know what he'll, how old he is. So I, I think it's going to be an interesting twist, or maybe... Uh, or maybe they'll bring in Brock. They the could, Heyman yeah, thing. They could bring in Brock. Yeah, they bring in Brock. Yeah, back to him. I also think that, um, to me, in the next... Now, I don't know. I haven't read anything what happened to uh, your uh, your cousin, Vinci. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baldy. <laughs> you and I both love Imperium. I, I would yeah. like to see those guys take the tags. Oh, I think they will. Like one of the two sets, like you're just I, saying, I think, right? I, I think... Uh, Gunther and uh, Kaiser should probably yeah. take the belts. I, I just the, that would be interesting if Vinci's yeah. hurt. Yeah, leaving that. Yeah. Like, but even even I don't. Know, I, I hate to say it, but maybe he's. Sh- see ya. Ooh, <laughs> out, out with the Vinci. Yeah, he doesn't really do much. Well, he's just there. He looks good, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. He's uh, eye candy for the ladies. You, you, you got the uh, you, giraffe you, neck. Uh, you and your Kaiser. buddies drinking Bud Light. Whoa, ooh, <laughs> Vinci. I think um, my own personal thought: hmm. Gunther is going to pin Reigns. Maybe yeah. That's I think they need to put Gunther in that spot if you're going to put then anybody. Gonna, yeah, but he's heel, so they're going to have to do a, a turn, kind of a turn. So. He's heel, but he's not. People love him. Yeah, he's kind of that weird, good bad guy right now. Exactly, like in a Stone Cold. Yeah, yeah. or he, he's heel, but he's not. He's like the, oh, yeah. the anti-hero. And your buddy, L A. I'm, I'm doing the three points. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, I like him. I can yeah. see him too. I don't know if he's quite ready for a. A championship push, but maybe intercontinental. That was just gonna say yeah. so they, your, they're gonna have to get that yeah. belt off Gunther yeah. before they either do a tag run or they put him over on. I don't, I don't know if they feel if he'll go over on on Roman though. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd I like to see it, but just to get them in a program, like they're gonna have to figure out how to work that in because maybe if they had like the bloodline against Imperium, but now if they're getting rid of their, it seems like they're closing out the bloodline storyline. So are they? I think, well, who knows? <laughs> the way they book things, who the heck knows? So, yeah, this yeah. Roman Reigns thing is a joke. I, I think it's I just mean, a that, joke that because... family is just, it's its infinite. Yeah. So they probably got yeah. like another 10 in the wings. They're going to shock a bro and they're yeah. going to show up. And, oh, hey, oh yeah. Like, uh, can we yeah. have a, like enough of Veer and this other character? Oh, yeah, already? those guys. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, they're just. just. Good. I just think it's funny how they just feed them jobbers every week. And, and, and well, so they powerful. had Shelton Benjamin this week. And, uh, yeah, that's what I said. Feed them jobbers. Yeah, exactly. Cedric. <laughs> Alexander, Alexander, whatever, so. and it's too bad Shelton's been around forever, and he looks good. And like, he yeah, can still work. He's still good. Yeah. In, I, it's in too bad what they've done. they they've done him wrong. So they yeah. did him dirty. Yeah, and uh, your cat. I don't know if your cat's it's doing rummaging that. through the nurse. Blankets nurse here. Page. Yeah. She's our uh, she's our mental health expert. <laughs> doing all. <laughs> she's yeah. goofing around here on the couch. So Demen- listen, dementia. Cat. Last week we had grab my bag. I want to call it tickle my bag. But. Well, that's totally different. That's uh, <laughs> second show coming up. <laughs> So grab my bag last week, if you didn't know, was you take uh, my Ziploc bag, mm-hmm. Ziploc bag, reach in, mm-hmm. and you pull out a name, and whatever name you pulled out, that's your impression mm-hmm. uh, that you had to do. So we've poorly. come up, we, we, yeah, very poorly. But you know what? Uh, we had, a, sorry, I'm just reaching into my uh, my briefcase, my money in the bank case. <laughs> to, uh, yeah, get you this. have one of those, don't you? Yeah, I do. You I got to start carrying your papers in I it. I should. You look all official. I, but I'm worried. I'll give you a handcuff. You can click. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it, folks. That's it. I'm bringing that money in the brief, money in the bank briefcase, <laughs> and you're gonna get the handcuff in the chain, and you're donating that. I know. Yeah, they're okay. good ones. <laughs> well, yeah. You don't want to give me your fuzzy ones. I don't have fuzzy ones. You liar. I don't. Lady Vader. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Ah, see. Yeah. Try that. <laughs> That'll get you a three-hour lecture. <laughs> Fire and brimstone <laughs> machine. Oh, That's well. what you're getting. I yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know what, folks? If there's a spoon, I am the pot stirrer for <laughs> sure. And uh, boy, I hope she's not listening because I'm going to get in trouble. So we don't really have a name for the game. No, we're just we just thought, not we. We'll call it the random rumble. Hey, I like it. It's time for the random rumble. <laughs> so what this is, we actually have a randomizer. We have a list of wrestlers, and we're gonna just. It's a random number. They're numbered one from 52. The randomizer is going to go. It's going to pick a number. Vader and I are going to discuss the wrestler that comes up. Mm -hmm. And then we hit the randomizer again. And we discuss the second wrestler that comes up. And then we talk the fantasy match. Ooh. Yeah. I like it. So it's uh, something a little bit different. Okay. And Should I hit the randomizer? uh, You know what? Uh, It's on on my side of the table. So Is it? Okay, uh, go ahead and hit the randomizer. Uh, okay. See what number. All right. And? 
49. 49. Four Niner. All right, 49 Like is... the horrible football team. Oh, 49. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. The Machines. No way. Yeah, the Machines. Oh, awesome. So, um... Oh. <laughs> Are you having trouble there? <sighs> yeah, You're bumping this, the table. You're going to spill my I'm all nervous about this game, man. I know. It's a good game. It's a good gimmick. So, so we machine. have the Machines. Awesome. So let's talk about the Machines. You're okay, f- which ones? We got any Super. of them. Let's we talk Hogan. about. I didn't realize there was Piper Machine. There was Piper yeah. Machine. Hogan Machine. Hogan machine. machine. Giant Machine. Giant Machine. Um, Super Machine. Yeah. So I'll start because I was a fan of the Machines from day one. Mm-hmm. I think it was a great gimmick to bring in guys like Hogan under a mask. Uh, back in the day, again, we're, we're, to me, fans had more fun. Oh, for sure. We all knew it was Piper Machine. Yeah. We all knew. <laughs> Giant Machine. Yeah. Nobody else has that physique. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think the machines were, were a great gimmick. I, I think, think it still worked today. I think it would still work today. I think it'd be hilarious. Can you imagine, like, having... Uh, or even bring back some guys like have rock machine. Well, I guess you can't really do that. There's a oh, he has a cycle rock, game. Yeah, right, 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 yeah, wait, I'm like, wait, it's spelled a little bit different, but <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. If you had uh, just well, anybody. Let's say someone got to me. The things that go missing in today's world of wrestling is we don't have the Jack Tunney to be like under suspension this week. <laughs> yeah. is you know, Vader from Wish, yeah. right? And yeah. then you have Vader machine. Yeah. Right, come out. So. And here's Waiter from Vish. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone would a know. Tray of, <laughs> tray of chops for everybody. <laughs> so to me, the machines are a great gimmick, and you could end up having, like, again, if you brought back. It's an infinite gimmick. You, it could go on forever. It goes forever. And, and, I, and I'm surprised nobody's done it. I think people would buy into it. Yeah. I really do think that today's world is missing fun. Yeah. So I think if they brought it back for not to mention that would throw a lot of business mask man marks away. Oh yeah, absolutely. he's a machine mask specialist. As a matter of fact, I have uh, under good word and good authority here that there are only a couple of actual legit patterns for the machine mask, mm-hmm. and Bill Eady is one of them. Right. Who was you know uh, mask superstar, mask superstar and, and one of the. And yeah, yeah, was he Smash? Axe, yeah. Axe. Uh, he was Axe, and he was Super Machine. Right. So he has a pattern, and he's friends with Masked Man Mark. Oh, uh, it's an upset. So when you're getting a machine's mask from Mark, it's as close to the real thing. It, you are getting a one thousand percent exact replica. Oh, that is. Cool. I didn't know that. I yeah, they were friends. Yeah, I kind of figured there was something because he does a lot of mass superstar. Masks, yeah, so. and he and he yeah. does tons of machine masks. Oh, yeah. and there's a reason yeah. because there's huh. a couple of patterns that and he does a great job on. Them. And they're yeah, we're not just we're no. not just pulling them here. No, no, they're yeah. awesome. So, so machines. So machines. there's our machines. I think the machines are fantastic. You think they're fantastic? Oh, it should yeah. be a gimmick that's rebrought back. Yeah. So we need another randomizer. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, number forty nine. <laughs> And three six. 36. 36. Jerome Bettis. Oh my goodness. Daniel Bryan. Oh. So let's talk about Daniel Bryan. Okay. Do you I, like him? I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't that was kind of the era when I wasn't really watching WWE when he was big. Yeah. I always thought he was kind of small. <laughs> uh from what I've seen of him mostly is is AEW when he started there. I did see a little bit. I hated that hippie belt that he had, that uh, yeah. granola belt, but <laughs> yeah. that kind of stuff. But in in ring work, unbelievable. Yeah. So, yeah. Technician. Yeah. So I watched that era where I, I was sort of out of, just like you, I think we sort of mismatched. Yeah. Every each now other. and then I would catch yeah. and go, Ugh. And I watched that, <laughs> that burlap belt. <laughs> uh, not a big seller, I'm assuming, but the burlap belt thing. I understand where they try to go with him being the, you know, mm. the. I think in real life, though, that's... I think he is, like, legit a recycler and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're we're into his wrestling, so I think he was the perfect little big man to beat the big man. For sure. You're right. Unfortunately, I think Daniel Bryan has started the era of the little men Mm -hmm. because now everyone gets in who's that size. The problem is, to me, they're just not as good as as Daniel Bryan. Him and AJ Styles. Yeah. Like, my God, AJ. But they, is... they look like, even though they're smaller guys, and even to some extent, Rey Mysterio, you could see a David and Goliath scenario yeah, sure. every time they're yeah. in there with a bigger guy yeah. because they had that skill set and they were so good at what they did, it, it looked believable. 
So to me, there was nobody. This is just, my, and again, this is our opinions. So if you look at uh, Daniel Bryan, I don't think there was a little big man uh, up until Daniel Bryan to do what Daniel Bryan did other than Rey Mysterio. Right. So after Rey Mysterio, to me, there was no little big man. Nope. Like you could take a uh, Benoit, but again, a Benoit, he was he was a bigger guy than thick. we. Yeah, yeah he, he was a he was just guy. short, but he yeah. wasn't. Yeah. And, and the Eddie Guerrero's, I know Eddie gets a lot of push, and uh, the Jericho sized guys, mm -hmm. but they're bigger than Daniel Bryan. Hundred percent. So yeah. in stat, I mean, in in muscle size. So to me, Rey Mysterio started the little big man. We all believed the little man that could, and we loved him for it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And to me. It went for years until Daniel Bryan brought that back, and uh, I like I say he's in AEW. To me, he's he's a monster, and he's not that big. No, exactly. And, but so, but and, I, and his ring entrance, the, the yeah, music's great. I love the ring. Yeah, I do love his ring music <laughs> yeah. too. But I think he is a uh, again WWE, nah, not so much. Mm -hmm. He he fits perfect that AEW mold. Oh, for sure. Like he that's his home, and again, it, it's almost like a hockey player. Like, if you look at a, a goaltender like Ron Hextall, mm -hmm. what team do you think of Ron Hextall? Oh, Flyers. Exactly. Like, even though he was Quebec and he was the Islanders, yeah. you don't see? Yeah. There's certain jerseys guys fit in. Yeah. Daniel Bryan is an AEW jersey. Yeah. So, now, we both have uh, good opinions on those guys. Well, yours was better. You're a real guy. <laughs> yeah. So, now, here's our fantasy match. Okay. Daniel Bryan versus... Which, which machine? Piper machine. Oh, boy. That would be that would be fun. I think it would, that be, would be that would be great. <laughs> I think so too. That'd be back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Because be because the Piper machine is Piper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's exactly it. Yeah. So Piper, he's a brawler, mm -hmm. and he could wrestle. Right. Right. So and and Daniel Bryan, he's not so much the brawler. No. But he can wrestle, mm -hmm. and I think that uh, I think their styles would definitely complement each other. Yeah. Well, like because uh, Daniel Bryan can do that hard style a little yeah. bit. Yeah with the kicks and that, yeah. that kind of stuff like that japanese sure you know hard style that you know so i think that would fit in well that would complement piper's brawling for sure so okay we're done those guys okay. all right so who wins you know oh. piper and daniel bryan piper machine you think it's piper machine yeah i i think daniel bryan goes over ah i would and you know why why because because you're a crappy booker that's why sorry wow go ahead that's hurtful it's the Coors Talk. I just want to be held now. I'm sure you do. I, <laughs> this is the Coors, my not bag. a Bud Light. So <laughs> I, I'm going to have to, that's three times. And the I reason I joke. say Daniel Bryan goes over, because yeah. Piper would do that for him. Okay, you're right. Like, if you want, like, even the Bret Hart mm -hmm. taking the title from Roddy Piper, mm -hmm. Piper's not afraid to do that for no. her. That, so I you're think, right. in, in the end, that's, so if I'm the booker, Daniel Bryan goes over, mm -hmm. Piper takes off the mask, mm -hmm. And reveals it's Roddy Piper. And the crowd and, goes nuts. And, yeah, and the crowd goes and nuts. And he gives him a cheap shot. And and so there we go. There's our finish. Because so. he's throwing rocks at a guy with a machine gun. <laughs> so there's there you go. To quote so the, that's our little game here. That's it. The randomized, oh. the random rumble. No, it's not it. Okay. we got to have another match. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should I hit the randomizer? We're hit the randomizer again. Here we go. 48. 48. It's only got four numbers, I think, this stupid randomizer. Okay. Legion of Doom. Oh, my. Legion of Doom. Uh, like, we don't even got to answer that one. They're, they're awesome. So. Everywhere they went. Yeah. I, I can't think any time whether they were tried to play heel mm -hmm. or, like, nobody hated them. No. Ever. How could you? Yeah. Their look. The only time I thought that I wasn't a big fan of so much was Paul Ellering with them. I liked him. But. When they weren't with him, I think I liked them better. I don't know. I, I, I like what he added to it. Yeah. He rolled up the, the newspaper. Yeah, the, I always. The, the, where the plate was at the, <laughs> I think it was like the booking. like The booking the, sheet, yeah. At the horse races. So, yeah, yeah, smack the guy in the nose kind of yeah. thing. So Legion of Doom, to me, could do, they could wrestle. They could, I've never, I can't think of any bad matches. N yeah, they could wrestle. They could high fly. Well, more Hawk for sure is mm -hmm. is the high flyer. Actually, Animal's not afraid to get up there no. on, the, on the top on the ropes either. No. I don't think top rope, but. Uh, I can't think of top rope for animal hawk, maybe, mm -hmm. but I, I think they've like, <laughs> this sounds bad. Oh boy. No, it doesn't sound bad. If I had, if I could have one wish, let's say they said, okay, whose body would you want as a wrestler? Right. What body style would you like? It's hawk to me. Hawk just, there was something about like his. Like, if you're looking bodybuilding side of things, everything has to be 
symmetrical, right? Mm -hmm. Hawk kind of had all that. He would never had the washboard abs. No. He he just had. He was just a big. He, he was just massive. Other, I guess the other guy would be with Rick or Scott Steiner, but uh, <laughs> but that's a hard work body to get. But I mean, like mm -hmm. to me, Hawk had that perfect shape. Yeah. Animal had the gut that I have. That well, you always that's call that me bodybuilder. the bodybuilder gut. Yeah. But I like to me, Hawk always looked good. He never looked chubby. Yeah, but even Animal looked good. I mean, always, yeah, yeah, they always looked good. So uh, Legion of Doom is, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I think. Okay, here's my question: Where would you rank LOD as a like, let's say tag teams? Like, oh. do you think they're number one tag team of all time? And you're, let's say, let's just go here: Heart Foundation, <laughs> Demolition. LOD and the Islanders. Why well, yeah. What about the High Flyers? Well, because you got oh, Greg Gagne oh, and Jumping Jim Brunzel. No, I have to add the Islanders in case there's a. Oh yeah. Well, you got to have some Blood Line in there. family in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, who would your top like to me? Oh, LOD. Yeah, I, I can't see anybody. Like, no? As much as I love the Heart Foundation because mm -hmm. they're a perfect combination, right. I think of of brawn and brain. Yeah. Um, the demolition might be next. Yeah, I don't. know. I like that. I think Demolition came in because of oh, LOD, for sure they right? Did. Yeah. So to me, LOD was just yeah. the, the motorcycles, the shoulder pads, mm -hmm. the, yeah, they're. Oh, they had it all. So. Yeah, they yeah. did. They yeah. really, really did. And mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty sad that they're both gone. But, oh, yeah. Uh, I think I've told the story about when I uh, worked with them, too, with the. Mm -hmm. But when I did my CBC special, <laughs> they're one take wonders real quick. And they weren't even supposed to be on it. No, yeah. And they were my intro and they left. And uh, Hawk uh, and Animal both remembered me. About five six years later, when they came to where we were in a show, mm -hmm. and they were the ones that came to me and go, "Hey, we uh, they actually." So here's a funny story that I didn't realize, and I'm not sure if I mentioned that. What happened was my TV special that I had was revolved for anyone who doesn't know. It was basically I thought I could wrestle, and there was a lesson throughout my B roll, and the B roll was wrestling. So the lesson is not everybody can wrestle. It's <laughs> everyone thought it was fake. Is that, is, that, is that on YouTube or anything like that? Uh, I'll try to find a link. If there's sure, a link, yeah. I'll, I'll put it up uh, in our in our TikTok and, and Twitter mm -hmm. now. But um, the uh, so what happened was once this whole B-roll was was filmed mm -hmm. and I had Ahmed, Ahmed Johnson uh, <laughs> kick me, I had Sid armbar me, oh. Mankind hit me with a chair. Um, oh. Yeah, I've had it. Or Mankind hit me with a crutch, pardon me. Nice. Paul Bearer hit me with the chair, actually. <laughs> so that we had this thing and then throughout my lesson i'm either in a neck brace or whatever meaning we just wanted to say not everybody could be a wrestler that's right. how we were trying to portray it and vince mcmahon had to approve the entire b-roll oh so uh hawk and animal when they came in like he was like yeah we, have we saw it at uh headquarters so they vince knew about it <laughs> and some of the guys are in it guys i guess he said hey i see you guys did the uh, this uh, jabroni show. <laughs> so they did know about it, and I thought that was neat that five years later they still remembered yeah. a guy they met for 10 seconds. Yeah. Like, it was literally it was very like, impressionable. Well, <laughs> <laughs> tell <them all." laughs> So, okay, LOD, we need a LOD. randomizer. Okay, oh, let me. Yeah, we need so one we, more random. So, let me, I got to wake the randomizer. LOD, I, I can't see. Uh, I don't, no, I'm trying to think, do I have another? No Probably good. not. No, well, it's. This hit forty. It's, it's going to hit thirty-five. No, well, okay. The way so this stupid thing works. Lod. Yeah, we hit next? the button. Yeah. Go ahead. Get it up. And twelve. Oh boy. Scott Hall against the Lod. Well, we pick one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, so let's. Okay. Again, so Scott Hall. Yeah. Another one. Like, what can you say? There's. I think people did. I don't. This is my own opinion. I don't think people appreciated Scott Hall mm -hmm. almost until it was too late. I think he he became more known for his demons than yeah. what he did for the business. Yeah. Yeah. And it's too bad that that kind of overshadowed how good he was. Yeah. And you learn later, you know, a sad thing is like, you know, after he passed, but I mean even like before then, just before he passed away, you started learning about like a lot of wrestlers were like if it wasn't for Scott Hall, we wouldn't have done this. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for Scott Hall, we wouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess Scott had a big play in convincing Hogan. A lot of things that were oh. going on, too, in the background. Like, Scott was pretty smart wrestling-wise, not money-wise at the time, because, <laughs> again, you mentioned the demons. Yeah. So I think if you're going to pull, let's just pretend, well, we, let's just let's pretend it's the Outsiders. Mm -hmm. Outsiders versus LOD. Uh, just for the sake of argument, like uh, I'll, we got. Well, it depends. In WCW, then Outsiders will go over. 
because they ran the company. <laughs> Anywhere yeah. else, LOD. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. No, no. I, I think because um, there would be there not outside interference, mm-hmm. but I think something would have happened. There's no way that Scott Hall. See, that's the other thing. I, I think if LOD, unless outside interference mm-hmm. in this match, if I'm booking this match, mm-hmm. no outside interference, then Scott Hall takes the pin. Yeah, he would. Yeah, yeah. because no matter what Scott did, it was gold. Mm-hmm. He never lost the credibility. Nope. Um, it would be believable <laughs> because Kevin Nash was pretty tall. So mm-hmm. I was go tall LOD, but Kevin Nash was the uh, sock puppet of the group, I think. <laughs> It was he was your three me with three move wonder. <laughs> so if I'm booking that tag match, we're just throwing the outsiders in on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, now, let's just pretend okay. they're WWF. Mm-hmm. Now LOD versus Razor Ramon and Diesel. Oh, LOD goes over. Yeah, you st- I think so. You yeah. still think LOD on that? I think one? they do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that. Uh, I, I think it's the opposite way. Mm-hmm. And it, WWF because just because. Razor and Diesel were popular. They were. They were huge. Even though they were bad at the time, again, all because of Scott Hall. Right. But I think that now there's outside interference. Yeah. So sure. in WWF, I would promote the outside interference. One, two, three, kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, does something to interfere, and Scott Hall pins. I, I think he would pin, uh, I think he would pin Hawk. Mm-hmm. To me, Hawk was always the guy who seemed to, and it wasn't often they got pinned. No. But uh, that would be my that would be my game on, on those. But boy, that, what a t- see that's the cool part about the randomizer. You just never know who we're gonna. Yeah, have. I, I was starting to doubt the randomizer's ability, but uh, well, yeah, it's yeah. it's an Apple randomizer. Exactly. You're not gonna believe this. It hasn't recorded. What? I'm just kidding. So listen, we are at our end of our show. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's fast. That was fast. So uh, we are gonna play the random rumble next week again and talk some wrestling and yeah. some mental health if you're hopefully everybody had a chance to check out the autism awareness mm-hmm. for uh our our pal plus the sis <laughs> and <laughs> yes uh the third amigo yeah he's <laughs> i love those things he made up he did that one with uh where he's cm punk with the hat and the the shades oh that one yeah there? yeah and then we're in the background i guess it was with CM Punk and FDR for the big yeah. collision show. So yeah, yeah, I like that. He so. puts us in some he's crazy he's things. Very creative. So he's our uh, special counsel, uh, Jr. Pliss. So uh, thanks for all your help and everything, and uh, we do appreciate what you do. Hey, you can check us out at uh, NWO underscore Machine on TikTok. Okay. If you're looking for our show, it's on there. You might find NWO Cat has his own videos. Oh, of course he does. Yeah, of course he uh, has to get his mug in there. Yeah. And uh, if you're on Twitter, it's at Vader from Wish and at NWO underscore Machine. And until next time, keep kicking out. <laughs> <laughs>